All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you you find yourself. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, well, I have another attempt to uh, continue my lesson. That's uh, why lesson number three. Okay, uh, lesson number three. Uh, lesson your uh, lesson two. A question that I came to my dear man. I courage be any other, but na uh, image sosa na fika image ala de la ke mia we na image ala folder da ma like in terms of how do we uh, give the proper url for image na na ta access image ala. so let me give you an example ta mi kwe ko ba uh let me just open up a new uh, uh okay here uh Okay, so in documents and your document mafia we have this so lesson one lesson two so image I love here so let me just create a new folder here and call it images okay and in this I'm going to move this image to images okay so right now image I'm gonna laugh here the same location you can file like never HTML document if you have image I love folder boo boom but they are all in this folder okay they are all in this folder adit lessons they are, that is the folder but inside this folder i have another image uh, folder a folder called images and inside that image uh, uh, images folder i have my image so let's see how we we'll get to that image so i feel like image ala here fear image ala here now we have to do use the name of uh, folder I'm an image ala. so let me put this here so here image here we have to use this name okay so I will say images forward slash so images forward slash uh, the name of the file africa.jpg like with that if 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 we had put uh nanya uh, images are uh, in another folder galica let me just say this is test okay and inside that test folder in my image alert. so here we have three levels so we have this images folder inside the images folder we have another folder called test you uh, may uh, image of Allah. so in that case we'll, we'll put test here slash so we now have images slash test okay afi africa dot if you want image alima so let me save this and just run it on our website uh, let me let me open this file Yes, hold on. Let me run this here. So now I'm coming to my lesson three and I'm going to open this with Chrome. Okay, select. And now, oops, now I have my image. I have my image here in here in uh, the in the web page, but still, uh, uh, now image I'm gonna move it to, into a third uh, to a second folder which is test first folder in your images so that's how you do it number the image at the goal number the image at the fear if you like you know just to bring it back to where it was at. Um, maybe i'll just leave it here okay here and then i'll delete this one because it's a good practice to keep uh to keep your assets like image or uh, or uh, sound or anything you put inside your website you put them in folders so you know where they are that i'll just leave them here in images so here i'll come back and remove the test okay and then save it so now let me go back to my website and refresh it now it's back it's there so that's uh, a corners, uh, courage, but question now. That's uh, the answer to it. Now let me move quickly. Uh, I've already spent like four minutes with that question. So let's let me tell you what we are doing today. Today, this is what we are going to cover. Me cover 
uh, element attributes so attributes are in your but now attributes are just like properties of a tag okay for example in lesson two i'm a female image tag that has some attributes so like source where the image to show is alt a description of the image okay with the width of the image as you want it to show as some other money like the actual image but with all i'm i'm talking about this width okay fear size and a jibber no show a little browser my if you are money but the actual size of the image oh. the actual size of the image you can get from the image itself but this now we are just telling the computer how to display this image in our web browser the my width is also a, a, another attribute height is also another attribute of image Aguera. so every uh tag or every element so i will be using the the word element and tag uh, interchangeably so remember element i'll remember tag is the same thing okay so element and uh, these things are elements okay li everything you are seeing on this screen is html element okay body is an element there is one head and close open and close is an element title open and close tag is an element okay that's the understanding okay so attributes are always specified in the start tag or the opening tag so no so here like in the in image are the moment that all the attributes mazan okatan they are in the opening tag this is the opening tag this is where it ends okay a proper closing area this is the closing tag but there's nothing inside the closing tag all the attributes you want to use in your element must be in the opening tag okay opening tag okay so now let's move on so attributes usually come in name value pairs like name equals so example again in source uh, source is the name of the attribute and then we are saying equals to we are setting the value of source so what is the value of source now we are saying source the value of source is images slash africa.jpg that is the address of where the image is located example alt equals value property width equals the value 500 another property height equals another value uh 400 so that's how you do it name and value okay now very important thing me as wrong but you never you can you in your how to differentiate between block element and inline elements then we'll talk about star quickly okay so a block element are equinable now element because show now everything in one block okay and then an inline element any element can show now everything in one longo 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 line <laughs> oh, long, one longo longo line okay that so for example you, let's look at uh, uh p tag here so instead of p, uh, this are uh, p tag here let me just go on uh sorry sorry i click on the wrong thing let me just go on some website okay uh let's go back to wikipedia okay and let's just find some cool thing uh let's uh if my okay okay so let me say web development okay all right so here this is all that let me just copy all of this text okay just copy it okay so just to example no matter show me but what i'm trying to do okay so in this this p tag this another paragraph i will just replace the text here okay with every text i just copied online okay it's a big one you put that so it starts from here all the way ends here um ends here you put that so now what now i'm going to save this file and then show it in the browser so let's show this file in the browser now this is a block element because uh you uh line in kovasa and this end of the browser it comes back right down to the next one and then keeps going so this serves like a block and some of that but you notice also that uh, 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 in here the fear you see that they click me and go to Ghana web homepage and and uh, uh, button me or me and the image they are all on one line 
okay so that is an inline element everything is on one line this is a block element because not everything is on one line like we are multiple lines so one two mm, two three four five six six lines here, man. block elements just take a block they take as much as space they can take and they take as much as as many lines they can take but an inline uh element takes only one line like here click me uh, is on one line followed by the button also on the same line followed by the image also on the same line so that is the difference between an inline at uh, element and uh, a block element so that's the difference between inline and block element okay so now let's talk about style styler in your mimi as an accord show color of text and uh how you how you want it to be if you want the thing uh text are or element are uh, uh, uh the the design you want to give it style we will start go style doesn't matter like you can tell this color this item is blue or is red you know excuse me let me give you an example uh, so for example here 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 style he also called call, 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 uh, color me orange our mm? color blue here orange and uh, and yellow style is color i'm going down to blue yeah hand to blue style is for i uh like open no be italize nana you can use uh, uh like you want to bold something you can use all of that as some of that so style let me ask from if you like so style abus uh, uh you use the word style and then you use the property now style as an css properties so in lesson one i told you we'll be learning about css javascript javascript and html so we'll be learning see a small small css as we are developing html okay so me, me, me you pay attention you pay attention like here so css are uh it's just uh you have to have a property and followed by colon and then a value by actually if you like so for example let's look at this unordered list okay and then let's use the property style okay so style are what are we going to do we are going to say style equals okay then we are do we do quotation marks and the quotation mark the inside the quotation marker we can say uh color okay so if you say color then uh value then you can say red okay and then semicolon let's see if that works okay now uh wait i don't think i got the wrong one i got the right thing okay here let's come back here and let's see right now taxi are i throw into red equator so let's do the second one this one let's make this to make this a uh, big let's change this to h3 okay all right all right guys me a follow man let's change this to h3 okay all right so we now have h3 save uh, so we have h3 right so let's see what happens uh, okay so now it's a little bigger okay so we have h3 uh, it's now red now let's come back here to this one to let's change this one to h2 okay and h2 and then me me high style okay let's go to style equals open uh quotation marks inside the quotation mark i will say color then colon then we will say blue and then semi uh, 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 semicolon and then we save and then we go to our browser and refresh browser now this is now uh blue color okay so now we've learned about block elements we learn about inline element we learn about attributes of elements and then we also learn about um a style okay so now quickly uh, let's also learn about something we are going to learn about very two very important uh elements we are going to learn about 
section and we're going to learn about div. A div element is a block element and a session element is there as also a block element. So let me give you an example. So let's say in all of uh, they are uh, uh, these are container elements. Okay, so I'm gonna container element, I'm gonna element that can contain some other elements. So let's say here at the top here, I want to put all this h1 to h6 uh, uh, element here. I want to put them in one section. Okay, so let's do section. Okay, and let's do close the section. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to open this up and I'm going to copy all of this. Now I'm gonna cut it actually so they are not there. <coughs> Excuse me. So now okay. So now let's give it a style just for you to see the the difference. So <coughs> I'll say background um maybe background color. I don't know what do we what should we do? We need background color. Huh? I don't know. Uh or do we should we just use color? I don't know. Which one do you guys think? Uh, let's say uh background and then let's say red. Let's see if that works. Okay. Alright, save. Uh okay. All right, we say me, me clear. So now, uh, uh, all this is a section, eh? a section. It's a block section, clear. Eh? So all of the H one and everything is inside here. So we can like even change this color. So let's go back here and then let's make this green, okay? And then let's save it, and then let's refresh. It's now green, clear, eh? okay? So this is a block element. So now let's look at div. Div div uh, is just a container. You'll be using div a lot. Div uh, when your container deck burner is so versatile. Burner, uh, you can just put anything in there and make whatever you want to make with it. So let's say uh uh and then you can put this section, you can put a section in and put a div in. So even we can add the session here. Let me just wrap it with uh, this all of this uh p tags okay so uh yeah let me close it here okay okay I'll, so i'm just i don't wrap i mean I, I just want to put all of these things inside section okay i just put the opening here and then i put the close here it will work so let's give it a star also and this one is but we're gonna say background and we're gonna say uh what color do we should we use uh, let's use blue okay semicolon see style the property we are using background and then we are giving in a color value blue all right let me save that and let's go here and let's refresh it see that is also blue color all right now um let's also learn i mean what time do we have how much time do we have uh it's now uh, 18 minutes okay all right so that's it we we'll, we learn about section and then let's look at a div a div is just an uh, a container that you can put anything in so let's come here and say div open close div right you can put anything inside div you can put you can put uh you can put a p tag inside div you can put images you can put whatever you want to put inside a p tag okay so uh that's that is a p tag those are all like block elements okay they will take um they'll take one a block they will take a block this is an inline element because it's all on one line this button and everything is going okay so now uh, so normally our uh, natural behavior in here is inline if you want it to be a block you have to tell it to be block and so let's learn another tag which is called the br tag which is like break line a problem now if you are typing on a computer and you hit the enter key uh, is the return key right break line a break to the next line so instead of all of this uh, item on items on one line uh, let's use the br uh, tag to change all of them okay 
Okay, so let's see. So first, uh, where is the button? Where is our button? Sorry, about So our first button is here. See where this is why comment is very important, right? We have comment here, so we are saying this is our button, right? So we are going to put a br after that button because computer as a new mobile a create uh a create bang a create link here bang. then it will stay on the same line and create the button so what about we put a br b after this one no i break it nani so br okay you can leave it uh, one or you can just close it also okay and then after the button, we uh, will create another BR. Okay. And then you can also leave it or you can close it. BR is just break line. Okay. It will just break it for us. So let's go here and go. By. See, right now everything is on one line here, right? Let's refresh. See, now everything is now, the line is breaking. So first, uh, I will click me to go to Ghana homepage. Uh, then it will break, it come back to the next line. Then it puts the, uh, it puts the button there then it comes back to the next line and then it puts the image there so in this image uh, you can even come here and say the width of the image uh, let's say the width of the image is 800 okay you're going to see that the image is going to enlarge see okay so now we can make the image fill the page if we want so what about 1000 okay let's see what happened see image gets keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so that is how you use that is the understanding of uh a br huh what is it br br and that is also how you use section we are going to be using a lot of section and then div div here you can put anything here so that I can say this is a paragraph inside a div tag okay or a div element you remember a div element okay so uh and then if you do this you can go back to our thing and here you see that our div is working okay our div is working so now we know how to use div we know how to use br we know how to use a section so next time i will move on to other things we also we also learn how to use style so now i'm going to test uh test uh, some inline and uh, block element uh, uh elements inside the whatsapp group let me have, may I practice so you're going to show me how you practice with all these things and learn new things all right this is too long an image uh, uh video so let's stop it here and continue keep practicing keep learning Never stop, okay? Alright, God bless and be safe out there.